All right, so I am back at my regular shooting spot. And what I want to show you guys is how um, how this sits on you if you wanted to do a concealed carry. It's absolutely an option, right? But as a woman, you have to get a little bit creative because it's a little bit bulkier than my everyday carry that I showed you in the last video. But definitely, it's a possibility. Um, but whenever I have a chance to open carry, this is what I go to. Um, just because the confidence that I have when I'm shooting with it, right? Shots on target with the RMR um, is awesome. So let me show you what it will do. Go ahead and put my eyes on. I already got my ear. And all right, let me check, make sure. Oh, let me pass it. different than my everyday carry um it's just confidence i mean it's substance in there excited as you can hear the little ding dings i love this gun i i'm confident i can put shots on target and um like i told you from the beginning i am not a professional shooter right but i do practice so I want to show you what I've been doing and how it's paying off on a paper target, okay? So <clears throat> I have two set up here. I'm going to go on the right side first, on the black one. Now I'm moving to the paper target, the uh, white one. That one was low. All right, I'm not perfect. So, I am so happy with that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this HK, I love it. I'm confident. I think you will be too, if you're on the fence about what you want to add to your arsenal. I would definitely say add this one. So until next time. All right, so lend me your ear for just a bit. I wanna give you some details about this firearm that I am shooting today. It's the HK VP9OR. It is, um, OR stands for Optics Ready. It is a polymer frame striker fire. I wanna share with you a um, fun fact, significant fact right that HK was actually the first to bring this engineering to the market years ago what engineering am I talking about it's the polymer frame and the striker fire believe it or not they did this back in the 70s they started 1970 and they stopped about 89 88 89 and for whatever reason they chose to focus on their double action single action uh, handguns 2014 rolls around they decided to get back into the game. And, um, you know, it's in response to Glock and other manufacturers um, responding to the, the need and desire of consumers for a striker fire pistol. So they come out with the VP9 and it's great. It only has 15 rounds though, but you know, we'll deal with it because it's HK. Five or six years later, then they come out with the VP9 OR, optics ready. And during this time, um, like from 2014 to now, they came out with some other variants of the VP9. And you are lucky enough, or maybe I'm lucky enough, that I got a couple to show you. So the first one is gonna be this VP9L, which the L stands for long slide. I haven't shot it yet. As you see, it's still in the box. It's OR as well. Um, yeah, it just came yesterday. I will be making a video for that, but I cannot wait to put my hands on this. It's gonna go right on the frame of this uh, VP9 that I'm um, telling you about and shooting today. And I have a subcompact that they also offer. So come on over here and take a look. It is um, the HK VP9 SK. I was lucky enough because um, I love natural colors to get the olive draft. 
and it's 12, uh, 12 round capacity. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'll make a video, video for that one as well. We need to move back, in my opinion, to the one that should have the spotlight, which is this VP9 um, OR. All right. So let's take a look at it, and um, then I can let you guys go. So this is um, it's set up tactical. As you can see, it matches my belt. And um, yeah, so I have the 20, 20 round magazine. I'm going to go ahead and drop this so that I can talk about the gun safely. I'm going to check my chamber. I'm clear. All right, so let's start with my light. I'm running a Surefire X300U. It's a thousand lumens and it reaches out there. It's like a hundred, a couple hundred yards. Awesome light, awesome light. Great, great. It's pricey, but it's worth it. Um, the RMR, RMR is Trichicon. Once again, it is rugged. It, uh, it keeps zero, the battery life. I mean, what else are you looking for in the RMR? Yeah, once again, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. You get what you pay for, and you want to be able to, to depend on your equipment. So, um, uh, I want to mention also, too, the charging assist that we have. And you can, you can charge here, you can charge there, you can use the RMR. Um, and let's not forget about these sights. The X, I have the XC, XS Suppressor Night Sights. You get the idea. They are really good. Um, I'm satisfied with them. And then also, if that um, optic ever goes out, these things sit so high that I can um, put shots on target. No problem with that. So this right here was my choice, you know, to have this tactical. Maybe you don't want it so aggressive, right? This can absolutely... Um, you can shrink the footprint. I guess that's the best way to put it. You can shrink the footprint, and this can be an excellent concealed carry. Um, with I can get this light off, give you a smaller light. You give me a second because it takes a couple of tools to get this off. When I come back, I'll show you a different light, a flush mag, and you can uh, you can envision it in your holster. I took off the Surefire and replaced it with the TRL7 Streamlight. Um, it is 500 lumens versus the 1,000 lumens, but it still gets it gets out from there. You know what I mean? It gets the job done. And then we have the Flush Magazine. This is 17 rounds. Um, I did want to mention to you about the trigger really quick. It is absolutely true in my opinion, the consensus that out of the box that the HK has the best trigger um, with striker fires, period. Yeah, it's awesome. I really think you should give it a try. But that is all that I have, and I will let you get back to the shooting. Thank you so much, and until next time, well, hang around for the rest of the video. Okay, so if you paid attention to the beginning of this video, you kind of already had the idea that this firearm can go tactical for sure. So what I have here is my Surefire X300 along with the 20 round extended magazine. Everything else obviously is there. And just for good measure, I threw on my Rhodesian Recon chest rig and I got level three armor. So let's run back everything that I just did. And let's shoot this tactical baby. All right, so I want to finish up the video with the ding, ding, ding.
guys enjoyed the video. As you can see, I enjoyed shooting my baby. So until next time, you have a good one. definitely uh bulkier than my everyday carry but the confidence you have with it is undeniable definitely suggest this pistol for anyone um, to put in your arsenal. It's definitely a must-have.